go a tiny bit so I look a little less like uh, ironically I was just watching a, uh, a Wicked Guild video and they gave me the reminder for this story uh, so about 20 years ago and uh, it is honkingly cold in here Newfoundland is finally getting its winter uh, which is fine it'll probably last for about another what's today the 25th one second I think it is the 25th yes uh, okay go away there we go so uh, it's the 25th Newfoundland's probably gonna have winter for about mm, five more weeks probably the first part of April we'll get what they call Sheila's brush I'll explain that closer to that time but uh, today I was watching Wicked Guild's video from last night and Magog mentioned that his dog had gotten skunk sprayed and it reminded me of this story uh, back when I lived in Alberta about 20 years ago let me just get a little more comfortable there we are uh, I used to smoke outdoors sitting on a concrete step just in a cul-de-sac now the thing you need to know is this cul-de-sac if you went out to the main road and immediately took a left you would basically, if you were walking, you would basically be headed into the bald ass prairie. There was nothing on that side of town. And it wasn't uncommon for uh, skunks, even coyotes. The coyote story I've told before has to do with that same area. So it wasn't unusual for skunks to come out of that area either. In fact, if I recall, there was a den kind of in a bank of uh, earth that had been left unmoved for a few years that ended up getting beaten down, broken up, and the skunks removed, uh, which may have been precipitated by this particular event. Um, it would have been probably early fall, maybe early spring. I don't remember exactly the timing. I do remember it was kind of a comfortable night as opposed to either too hot or too cold. Uh, so I'm outside in a pair of shorts, and the neighbors at the time were an older couple who had a stray cat that they would feed. Uh, so familiar was this cat with them that they had actually put in a cat door. And it was not uncommon for me to be sitting out having a cigarette at night. Mr. Cat would come over push against my bare leg and of course I'd reach down pet him for a few seconds and he'd wander off. Uh, this one night I'm sitting there and smoking and by and by I feel the brush of hair on my leg and I reach down and I start petting and then I go oh geez kitty you stink tonight oh yeah it wasn't kitty it was a skunk perfectly content to be stroked uh, so I kept on stroking him I wasn't too worried about the fingertips getting a little greasy and smelly or the leg being a little greasy and smelly as long as Mr. Skunk did not fucking spray me um so after about uh, what was it? Probably only 30, 40 seconds or so, Mr. Skunk got tired of being petted and started to, proceeded to fuck off across the, the, uh, cul-de-sac. Hello, whoever's watching. <laughs> uh, this is completely impromptu. But Mr. Skunk started to fuck off across the cul-de-sac. I assume headed back to either the den or out into the prairie, wherever his den happened to be. And, uh, <laughs> uh, for whatever reason, Mr. Cat decided that Mr. Skunk looked like food. Hi, Prime Knight. How's it going? Uh, I'm just telling a story this morning. <laughs> Stinky Moose Man. Yeah, pretty much. <clears throat> but, uh, so Mr. Skunk is perfectly content just to trundle off back to where he's going, having gotten random pets from a random human. And Mr. Cat comes zipping down the driveway between the two houses. Uh, it was a shared driveway, very wide driveway. Uh, but Mr. S Mr. Cat decided he was going to go after Mr. Skunk. And unfortunately, ah, oh, you're getting some hours in at work. Awesome. So, unfortunately for Mr. Cat, uh, Mr. Skunk heard him coming. And basically did exactly what a skunk does. Turned around, lifted the tail, bam! And Mr. Cat had been just about to pounce. So he caught it right in the schnoz. Uh, Mr. Cat proceeded to do about 18 backflips and shot back up the driveway and at the moment I assumed into the cat door because I was pretty sure I'd heard thwap from that cat door 
So I'm sitting there, just finishing my cigarette, and I'm wondering, did that cat really go into the house stinking like that? When from the house, which is closed up at night, no windows open as far as I knew, I hear the sound of, what the fuck is that stink? Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. And that's why, ladies and gentlemen, uh, if you ever, ever end up petting a skunk, don't stop till it's content to let you stop. <laughs> okay, that's it for this. You guys have a good day. I will see you on Sultan's in, oh God, I don't even know what time it is. Quarter to eight. Uh, so let's see, Sultan's is 10.30. So that'll be about uh, two hours, 45 minutes. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.